slept so well, but let's get into that morning skincare routine. Y'all, I took a four day relaxing solo trip to Montego Bay, Jamaica. Deets on my Instagram, I'll link it below. But we need to talk about skincare on vacation and what to do and what not to do. So let's go. First things first, before you cleanse, Wash your stinking bomba clout dirty hands. Now, some people can get away with just rinsing their face with just water in the morning and then moving on with their skincare routine. I can't do that. So this morning I'm gonna be using the Summer Friday Super Amino Gel Cleanser. This is something that I got in PR. I've tried it a couple of times. It's all right so far. Not much of a foaming action with it. So if you're looking for that, maybe it's not the best experience for you, but to me, it's like, eh, it gets the job done. When you cleanse, don't half-ass it. Don't just shh and then you're done, right? You wanna really give yourself a nice cleanse. For some people, the 60-second method that LA Beautyologist coined works out really well. I will link something in the description box so you can find out more about it. When you cleanse, cleanse with lukewarm water, okay? Don't want anything too hot on your face because hot water can zap your skin and it could lead to trans epidermal water loss, which means that the hydration that your skin really loves you start to lose it, it's just like, psh. Now, actives. Now, bear in mind, some actives can make the skin more sensitive to the sun, so if you are going to be on a vacation where you're out, you're doing all kinds of like water sports, you're gonna be on the beach, you're gonna be getting lots and lots and lots of excess sun, you definitely wanna keep that in mind when it comes to which actives you use in the morning. If you are someone with very particularly sensitive skin, you're probably gonna wanna err on the side of caution, maybe not use certain actives in the morning while you're on vacation, or maybe use them sparingly. When you have sensitive skin, it's better to err on the side of caution than to just slap things on and be like, all right, I think I'm gonna make it. Now, there are some people out there that can just throw anything on their skin and not be affected by it, but if you don't know if you're one of those kind of people, you don't wanna take any chances. So it's better to err on the side of caution, especially if you're gonna be out and about in the sun a lot. So one thing that I've brought with me because I knew that sometimes being out in the sun can make me a little dehydrated. Not that I planned on like being on the beach all day. I did know that I was gonna get probably more sun exposure. And the sun here in Jamaica is kind of different than the sun in New York City, you know what I mean? So I packed this Cosrx Hydrium Watery Toner. So this is something just to give me a little bit of extra hydration. It's not gonna feel heavy on my skin. Not something that I need in my regular routine, but with all the extra sun exposure, you know, I'm like, I don't wanna dehydrate my skin, being on the plane, those are things that can kind of add to it. So just a quick little swipe. So now in my routine, my routine, you know, again, if you have particularly sensitive skin, you want to err on the side of caution. I'm going to be using vitamin C. This is the Beauty Stat 20% vitamin C. This is L ascorbic acid. I baby stepped my way into using this vitamin C because I don't want any smoke, okay? I didn't want any smoke. If you're new to vitamin C, I would definitely suggest using a smaller percentage and then slowly working your way up. And then for some people, vitamin C, no matter what they do, they just can't tolerate it. Might be a good idea to look into other antioxidants because vitamin C is not the only one. Eye cream. Now, some people, your moisturizer might address the needs for underneath your eye and your facial skin, and that's cool because then boom, you have two steps covered all with one product. Me, on the other hand, my under eye area has a different set of needs than my the rest of my skin does so i'm gonna make sure that i use the eye cream now i've already moisturized my lips but i use the ulta beauty juice infused lip oil i really love these i'll link it below along with everything else that's mentioned in this video now one of the most if not the most important part of your daytime skincare routine while on vacation your sunscreen sunscreen is something that you need year round whether it's rainy or snowy or sunny, whether you are at the North Pole, the South Pole, well, can you? You know what I mean. No matter where you are on this planet, you are going to need some sunscreen during the day. Get yourself into a habit. This channel has a lot of videos on sunscreen because a lot of people enjoy them and enjoy watching them despite what some people may say. Check them out, especially if you're someone with a deeper skin tone and you're looking for sunscreens that look great on your skin, whether that's mineral or chemical. I got you on this channel, so check it out. So I brought two facial sunscreens with me. The Suncut UV Perfect Milk, super waterproof, I don't know why this thing says waterproof because there's no waterproof sunscreen, but 
who am I to tell them, SPF 50 plus. And then I also brought the Myriad Oil and Pore Control Mattifier SPF 45 with a PA of four pluses. Well, they both have PAs of four pluses. So PA in a nutshell is a rating system. We don't use it very much in the United States. You'll see some products with it, but it's mostly something used in other countries where it measures the UVA. UVA and play hating aging rays, the ones that account for about 89% of the premature signs, the visible signs of aging. And they also worsen pigmentation. That and play hating ass visible light. I brought both of these with me just because I like to have a couple of options. This one I like better for when I'm wearing makeup. This one works just fine with makeup, so it's just a toss up and <laughs> from the toss up, we're gonna use the UV uncut, uncut. <laughs> Remember uncut? Okay that toss up the sun cut uv perfect milk one so that is what we are going to put on our face you can find a full review for the uv sun cut as well as there is another formula that's much better for dry skin you can check that out in my japanese sunscreen review video which i will link above yeah you may have noticed that i did not put sunscreen on my neck and my chest and that is because Typically, facial sunscreen is more expensive than body sunscreen for me. So I like to use my body sunscreen on my neck and my chest and you know, everywhere else. So I brought a number of options for body sunscreen with me. And part of it is because I packed like just a few hours before I was supposed to leave. But also part of it is because I do like to have options when it comes to my body sunscreen. Right now I'm just putting on the La Roche-Posay Anthelios Melt-In Sunscreen Milk. This is an SPF 60. You can use this on your face and your body. I have oily skin, so I only like to use it on my body. I find it a little too heavy for my face in the summertime. But if you're looking to you know, buy something and it's an all-in-one, you might want to consider that. I'll link it below. Now, how much sunscreen do you need for your face and your body? It depends. Our faces and our bodies all take up different amounts of space. The formula is two milligrams of sunscreen per centimeter square of skin. Now, if you want to go and measure, that's fine. But that typically works out to about two to three fingerfuls for your face, neck, so, you know, make sure you get behind your ears. And sometimes it's about a shot glass full for the rest of your body but our bodies all take up different some different amounts of space so you might need a little bit more than a shot glass full now let's go over a couple of my sunscreen options that came with me on this trip now my typical everyday body sunscreen uh, this is something that is water resistant up to 80 minutes really great if i'm just you know going out nothing special just slap this on i like it because it has a higher spf and it's also water resistant now, if i am looking to glow and sparkle i'll go with the super goop glow screen body now this is something that is water resistant up to 40 minutes it's an spf of 40. so these this is not an everyday body sunscreen for me but just when i'm you know looking to feel a little special and glisten and glow and i like that you do get some water resistance with it now Water resistant does not mean waterproof. So if you get wet, you hop in the ocean, you get wet by any other means, you know, I'm, again, I'm not judging. <laughs> you towel off and then you reapply your sunscreen. Now, another very important thing about your skincare routine when you're going away, especially if you're going someplace tropical, bug spray. Now, this is what was in my hotel room, thank goodness, because I almost always will go with whatever bug spray is local. Because I find that the stuff that we have in the US some of it, I don't know, you might find something that works, you might not. So I would just always go with what is local because for me, bug bites leave lots of hyperpigmentation on my body. And if I can avoid getting the bite in the first place, then I don't have to wait 10 years for, <laughs> for the hyperpigmentation to go away. All right, so a couple of really important things that you need to know about your daytime routine. First of all, reapplication of your sunscreen is gonna be super important, especially if you are in a tropical environment. You're likely to be outside more, which means you're gonna be sweating because it's hot. Now, if you're wearing makeup throughout the day and you want to reapply sunscreen over your makeup, two of my faves, Peter Thomas Roth and Super Goop, have sunscreen mineral powders that you can put on top of your makeup. I like them because I have oily skin, so they help to blot down the shine, but I'm also able to reapply my sunscreen on top. I wouldn't rely on them as your sole sunscreen, so make sure you have your base sunscreen on first, and then you can just use those to kind of reapply throughout the day. Um, a couple of other things that I really love, sunscreen sprays. Now, of course, with sunscreen sprays, you wanna make sure that you either spray them in your hand and then apply it to your body, or if you're gonna spray it directly to your body, you want to make sure that you rub it in with your hands, because although sunscreen sprays are convenient, 
a lot of times people aren't putting on enough and you're not getting the adequate amount of sun protection. Now, also be mindful that sunscreen is not going to be your sole form of sun protection. Now, sunscreen does have its limitations. So you wanna make sure that you're doing other things to protect yourself while you're out and about enjoying yourself on vacation. Here's a couple of things. One, stay in the shade as much as possible. Two, stay out of the sun between the hours of 10 and two, because that's when the sun is just doing the absolute most. Number three, also look into things like sunglasses and sun protective clothing. So these are all things that in addition to your sunscreen will help to protect you from the sun. Now, for my people who have melasma and for the people who have autoimmune disorders, such as lupus, where your skin is more sensitive to the sun, you want to be on it with that sun protection. So you definitely want to stay out of Stay in the shade as much as possible. You're gonna have fun, but you wanna stay in the shade as much as possible and be very adamant about your sun protection. Oh, it is nighttime, as you can probably hear. And to my Caribbean people, how do y'all film at night with all the noise that's out there? Anyway, we're gonna get into a nighttime routine. We're gonna take this into a little bit of a voiceover because as lovely as that sounds, I'm pretty sure you don't wanna hear that while, you know, we're doing the routine. So as you can see here, I'm wearing makeup. Just came back from dinner, having an amazing time here in Montego Bay. If you want to hear more about my trip, make sure you check out my Instagram. Uh, but we definitely want to make sure that we are double cleansing. So we're going to first use an oil-based cleanser. I'm using one here from Hot Labo to remove the makeup. And then after that, I'm going to rinse and then go in with a gel-based cleanser. This one's from Summer Friday. Everything mentioned will be linked in the description box. Now bear in mind, this one doesn't have much of a foaming action to it, so if that's not the experience that you're looking for, obviously bypass it, but to me, you know, it got the job done. If you're someone with particularly sensitive skin and you're on vacation, maybe you might want to think about maybe using your actives at night, but Ultimately, you wanna keep things simple and you do not wanna be trying anything new while you're on vacation. Like, trust me, don't, don't, mm -mm, don't do it. So here I'm putting on a prescription cream that was prescribed to me from my dermatologist, Dr. Michelle Henry. There's information on, you know, this whole under the eye discoloration process in other videos, so make sure you check that out, I'll link it above. I'm using stuff that I have already been using, not trying anything new. I'm also applying my tretinoin cream. Again, this is something that I've been using for a while, I've already broken myself into. If you are new to tretinoin, I would not advise to put it on uh, when you're on vacation. There's this common misconception that retinols make your skin more sensitive to the sun. It's actually not true. And then of course, you know, I go in with my eye cream from Ulla Henriksen and then my nighttime moisturizer is this Olay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream. Um, I like the fragrance-free version. Now, I also brought a couple of things with me just in case. So I bought some pimple cream. I bought one with benzoyl peroxide. This one's from Neutrogena um, and I use that brought that you know just in case i get any kind of cystic pimples and then the other one has salicylic acid this one's from peter thomas roth and you know that's for like my blackheads and my whiteheads but thankfully not going wood i have not had any acne issues on this trip now when it comes to my body skin you know after i take my shower and we're taking showers in lukewarm water hot showers can zap your skin and we're already suffering from trans epidermal water loss um, as soon as I get up the shower, I towel off and while my, while my skin is still a little bit damp, I put my moisturizer on. For this trip, I brought this Gold Bond moisturizer with me. I love how creamy it feels and the smell is just amazing. So I'm going to be using that obviously all over my body, but you know, I ain't going to be showing you all of that lotion rubbing up on the skin. I mean, unless you're interested in a paid subscription, well, let me stop. Another thing that you really, really, really need to know about going on vacation in your skin is do not let how you feel about your skin keep you from having fun. Now this goes for acne, this goes for hyperpigmentation, this goes for discoloration, whatever it is, do not let it prevent you from having fun. You are on vacation. Just get out there and have a good time. And a lot of this stuff is natural anyway. A lot of people suffer from hyperpigmentation, a lot of people suffer from acne, and a lot of us have discoloration. It's very hard to maintain an even skin tone from head to toe. There are areas on our bodies that are just gonna be darker than others because of friction. Underneath the arms, the elbows, the knees, on the butt, you know, those sort of things. And a lot of it is natural. Don't let it deter you from having fun. And I'm talking to my younger ones out there and my not so younger ones out there. Now, speaking of having fun, I'm going to continue on with my trip 
here in beautiful Montego Bay, Jamaica. If you want more information on my trip, check out my Instagram. I'm gonna be posting a couple of mini vlogs there, so make sure you check that out. All the products mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box. Make sure you check that out. Also in the description box are links where you can find me on social. So check that out, and I will see you folks in my next one. Bye, guys.